Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm Sherry Horner, your host at healthfitnessbroadcast.com. And today my guest is Beth Shaw, and she is the founder and director of Yoga Fit Training Systems. She's trained, her system has trained over 250,000 instructors in six different countries. Beth, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. We have so much to talk about. Uh, so I kind of want to just touch a little bit on what you've done in the bringing yoga into the fitness industry uh, and then get right to your latest book. So that's the, the hot topic now is your latest book. But if you can explain to those that um, are not familiar with what Yoga Fit Training Systems has done, can you just kind of educate them on that? Yoga Fit is the largest training school in North America, if not the world. We've trained over 250,000 yoga and fitness professionals on six continents. And we've been in business since 1994, really. We incorporated in 97. Uh, we're the official yoga school of Good Life Fitness, Cam Fit Pro, 24-Hour Fitness, Town Sports International. We've got very close affiliations with a number of different health club chains. And we're opening our own Yoga Fit Studios, Yoga Fit Studio franchises, globally now. Uh, they've started opening up in the middle of the country, and you'll soon see them on both coasts. In addition to that, I'm a passionate animal advocate for spay and neuter, for uh, anti-puppy mill causes, as well as I have a nonprofit organization called Visionary Women in Fitness that gives scholarships to young women who want to pursue a career in fitness or mind-body arts. And I'm also an author. My latest book is Yoga Lean. <laughs> and this is published by Random House, and it's available in bookstores now and online at yogafit.com, as well as Amazon, of course. Yes, and I will have a link below, too, that will help everyone get to that um, directly, where they can get the book and find it. Because thank you so much for sending the manuscript. Loved every bit of it. Uh, I was able to take some of your training. And we met actually a long time ago, and you've met over 250,000 people and then some in everything you've done in your career. So uh, you may not remember that, but I was in a, a workshop of yours, and some things that you said just really clicked for me, and I was able to successfully start and till, and till this day still have a successful yoga business. So thank you so much for everything that you have taught to not only me, but, but everyone else. So your um, book, that, your first book, if we can just touch on that, uh, Yoga yoga Fit by Beth Shaw. My first book um, came out, this is the first edition of the first book, and that came out in the year 2000. And since then, it's gone into its second edition <laughs> printing. And we've sold over 100,000 copies of this book worldwide. Right now, we're going into the third edition printing in November. I'm really excited about this book. As, as the other book, Yoga Lean, as well. But this is like the foundation and Bible for anybody who's interested in yoga or wants to teach yoga. Mm -hmm. It's uh, published by Human Kinetics. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So back to Yoga Lean. This book um, I totally loved. But I want to ask, um, because you uh, started in yoga. Now, Yoga Fit Training System started in your living room. Yes, it and did. And on one hand, I want to say, could you... Like, do you pinch yourself sometimes to know that, wow, look how big it's grown? But on the other hand, I know your belief system. And uh, in fact, one of your quotes, if you can dream it, you can be it. Uh, so I'm sure that you saw this long before it happened. Well, it's interesting you should ask that, Sherry, because when I was in college, I was stretching. I was actually in a yoga pose. And... I looked up and it was almost like the sky parted. I was looking out of this window and there was this white light in the sky and this message came to me. It said, you were going to be very successful in the health and fitness industry. And at that point I was pursuing a undergraduate degree in, in marketing and business administration. And I had a real love, obviously, of fitness. I've been working out in health clubs since I'm 15, uh, lifting weights. and. I also started studying nutrition very passionately in college because I was in a really bad car accident and they sent me to chiropractors who turned me on to food combining. And from there, I really started studying nutrition. So nutrition and fitness and yoga and mind body has all, all very much close to my heart for a long time now. And in Yoga Lean, I'm so excited about this book because 
I'm able to put together in this book the totality of the wheel of health that I believe in. And it's not just physical yoga and asana, uh, but it's also we go into uh, the yamas and the niyamas and how to live a clutter-free life, why meditation is so important for weight loss and weight management, supplements, cardiovascular exercise, strength training, how to boost your metabolism, the importance of community service and giving back, and the importance of having gratitude and just really living a simple, healthy life so that your body doesn't get in the way of you doing what you want to do in life. And, you know, for a lot of people, especially the baby boomers now, who have 80% of them have one of the big eight diseases, 80% of all adult diseases is self-created. So when you think that you can really reduce your chances of getting something that is going to sideline you from life and your family and, and enjoying just being in your body. You have the choice. You have the control. And Yoga Lean gives you all the tools that you need to take your control back and take charge of your life in a very simple, clean, and easy way that anybody can follow. We also have a Yoga Lean app. It's free. You can download it from the App Store. And every day it'll tell you what exercise you should do, what to eat, daily affirmation, meditation, feel good exercise. So we've made it really simple for people to really take control of their health. And I believe that that is so important that we all take control, control of our own health because nobody else is going to do it for you. And you mentioned that this has everything in there. And, and I think that if, if you're going to buy one book, buy this one because it does. Uh, you've put so much in that I could just hear your voice when when I was reading it cover to cover. Um, it it has everything in there, um, and not just yoga poses. Like you said, it has everything, uh, and just every word that you say. I just want to encourage everyone get this, read it cover to cover because um, I, I read it and I was like, wow. I mean, every page I was like, wow, yeah, wow, yeah. I, I get it, I get it. And then it just really kind of opened up some more. Um, you know, put some light on some more issues too. And I was like, wow, this is really good. Uh, she has, it, it, I'll just talk about it briefly, the yeah. nutrition. I love that. I've, um, this was just so right on the different um, recipes that you have. And I can tell these are ones that just came from your heart. It wasn't like, oh, let me, let me borrow this recipe from someone else that I, mean, I could just see you experimenting and trying these and then coming up with the best one to put into your book. But um, the recipes I love, she has for immunity uh, and for lean. And then I have a, the list of them, but of course you know them by heart. Um, recipes for, and I tried uh, the one for immunity. I tried the uh, Did you the try orange. the immunity soup? Uh, no, I didn't try that one. I tried the um, smoothie, the okay. orange smoothie. Oh, yeah. It was great. And I had never thought about putting that into um, a smoothie other than just juice. It, great. Um, so what gate, what, well, of course your healthy eating and, li and living inspired you to do this, put this into the book, but what, um, are your favorite recipes? From I have to say my favorite recipes are my health salad, which is just a variety of a lot of different vegetables, really easy to make, keeps in the fridge for a couple of days. Um, I also love my immunity soup with the cilantro and the tomatoes and the ginger. I find that to be really great. And um, I, of course, love the brown rice risotto because I think, you know, a little carb here and there is a good thing. And I've been pretty low carb since the early 90s, but um, brown rice risotto is a great way to go. And I also really uh, there's so many really good recipes in here there's a great salad with avocado and grapefruit too that you wouldn't think would make a good combination but it's really quite delicious mm -hmm. and then for people who want a little bit more of a heavy meal there's a great gluten-free uh, fake pasta recipe where we use zucchini instead of pasta and that again for those people who are going low carb that's a, a great thing and then the smoothie recipes are really nice because we have smoothies for lean we have anti-aging recipes we have relaxation we have a whole host of different smoothie recipes including one to give you energy mm -hmm. i love um the fact that you put them in those categories and you know what the 
food will do for you if you're in need of energy or if you're in need to relax. Um, because a lot of people don't, they just think oh, healthy food is healthy food and I'm going to eat this, not knowing that that can give you energy when you're ready to go to sleep or <laughs> that exactly. can help you relax when you yes. need the energy to last the rest of the day. So that, that was, that was the best. That was my favorite. I mean, Thank you. The, you the book, people who go for like comfort foods, but in this book, we, the comfort foods we give you are comforting, but they're not fattening. Right, so they right. will relax you and comfort you, but they're not going to put excess weight on. Right. So this, um, this book does have everything. Um, I do want to talk about um, the, the last chapter, chapter 11, the karma, um, higher purpose and giving back. Because that's what, uh, with, in Beth's training system, the yoga fit training system, all um, instructors to complete their training is required to do eight hours of community service. Is that what it is? Eight, approximately eight hours? That's correct. In order to complete your level one certification, you need to do eight hours of community service work, teaching yoga to a group of people who normally wouldn't have the opportunity to receive it. And so many studies of neuroscience have shown that when you have a higher purpose, you're a happier, more content person. And so what we're doing for people is we're not just training them to be better yoga instructors, but we're also giving them a higher purpose. Many times those volunteer hours turn into a fully paying yoga teaching job. But we're saying, you know what? Go out and give yoga to people who can't afford it. Go out and give yoga to people who may never in their lives experience it. And in this respect, it's my most proud accomplishment of yoga fit training systems is all the community service hours that we've given and initiated have been well over a million hours of community service so we have really put a lot of good deposits in the karma bank right absolutely and i just want to make one note we're talking i keep bringing up uh, yoga fit training systems which a lot of people know you but if you're not um a yoga teacher or you've never done yoga this book is not just about yoga like we've said Exactly. Uh, it's everything. It's so when, but anybody who wants to be healthy should right. read my book, Yoga Lean. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yoga anyway. Lean. Um, there's just so much good. Yeah, that's right. You got the color. You got the color version. Yeah. Uh, there's just uh, so much in there. I mean, you cover um, weight training and cardio. Um, and of course, the yoga poses. Um, and yeah. most important, Sherry, is what we cover in this book that's very unique is we cover Ayurvedic body types. Right means that if you are a kapha, don't have the expectation you're going to be a size four because it probably won't happen. But you can have a large and very lovely, shapely body and accept it. And once you have that acceptance, then you can relax and actually have more success in your weight management program. Right. And enjoy life because you can, yeah, yeah you know where you're going. Exactly. And um, the, um, Visualization, we talked about before, you visualizing um, what you've accomplished. You also talk about that in the very beginning, um, visualizing, because a lot of people don't have experience with that. And so you kind of warm people up to the idea and explain how easy it can be to visualize. Um, and yeah, because a lot of people just don't. They think they meditate, they think they visualize, but it, yeah. So can you elaborate on? Well, first I'd like to say that I do have several meditations and visualization meditations available for download on iTunes. So if people still feel lost after reading the Yoga Lean book, they can go to iTunes and download. There's some that are two, three minutes, some that are five minutes, some that are 10 minutes, even 20 minutes. Um, meditation is so important uh, for people to kind of, it's almost like taking, giving your brain or your mind a shower. Mm -hmm. and pressing the reset button. So a lot of times when people are stressed out, they eat. When they're anxious, they eat. When they're depressed, they eat. When you meditate, you kind of clear that space. And then from there, you're able to make uh, better choices. Also, in the seven steps to being yoga lean, step one is believe you can transform your body. Mm -hmm. So have the belief, visualize, and then get into action, and the magic happens. Yeah, I love that, and the magic happens. Um, the other steps... Um, that you touched on a moment ago, clear the clutter is step number two. So, um, and a lot of people don't realize that what clutter does to you, but clearing that out 
Can you elaborate on that? Uh, it's, um, there's a direct correlation between a weight gain and excess clutter. So what happens is people have a lot of stuff around them. They get busy with their stuff. They become hoarders. Maybe. Oh, that's my dog. Hang on for a second. Um, so it's very important for people to recognize their attachment to the stuff around them and then to try to clear as much space as possible so that they can just move through life again. Our goal is with Yoga Lean is to have people move through life with ease. I know for myself when I have too much clutter around, I'm trying to find things or organize things, I'm not moving with ease. So we're challenging people to simplify their lives so that they can just get out in life and enjoy it, whether it's taking a walk in the park, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's walking their dog, whether it's being with friends, just to be able to immerse themselves in life without a lot of excess stuff that will get in the way. When people have excess weight on their bodies and they're not feeling particularly yoga lean, oftentimes it means they're eating more food than they're burning off, uh, intaking more calories than expending. And that is another form of hoarding. So we're challenging people who have weight issues to look at their consumption of food as just taking too much instead of giving more away. And so we find that when people start using the app every week, there's a different room that they need to tackle uh, to get rid of stuff. We find they lose weight in the process because they're doing physical exercise and they're moving stuff and they're feeling lighter. And when right. you feel lighter in your possessions, you feel lighter in your body. I should also mention we have a 12-week coaching program. Um, it's a very rigorous 12-week diet and exercise and mindfulness program that we're making available to consumers. It'll be launched on our new website, yogalean.com, that becomes live on the 22nd of this month. Mm -hmm. And we also are training yoga lean coaches. So we will have people in the field who can help more people with the principles set forth in yoga lean to really experience them in their lives. And not, not just someone to work you out as a personal trainer, but someone who really gets involved in helping you clear the clutter, uh, advise on your supplement program, look at your nutrition, and, and create a, a wellness lifestyle for you. An overall wellness coach. That's yeah. excellent. So yeah. I will also add the link to the description box for that when that website Thank is you. up. And, um, so I just want to quickly touch on uh, some of the other uh, steps in the seven steps of Yoga Lean. Um, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know, that um, learning to move. So that, can you elaborate on that briefly? Yes, that step is really about pushing yourself a little bit. You know, I just experienced that. I was in the gym with my trainer, and then he's like 10 more, you know, on the TRX doing some plank tip hike, and I really didn't want to do it. But I, always, I have to tell myself, you know, to expand your potential, to expand on your greatness, to move past your limitations, you need to be uncomfortable. When we're too comfortable in life, we don't grow. Unfortunately, Sherry, most growth comes when people have hit a, a rough patch in their lives, when they really hit against a wall and things aren't working for them, and then they make the correction. We're encouraging people to always keep correcting and don't get to a place where it's critical before you start taking care of your health or doing 10 extra push-ups or running that extra mile or whatever it's going to take for you to unlock your potential for greatness and that's just past our comfort zone is where your greatness exists I love that I love that there's so much uh, we only have a couple minutes left so I want to uh, skip forward to um, number seven which is forgive yes and that's perhaps the most important one Sherry absolutely uh, go ahead for, if you could touch on that forgive yourself is yoga lean step number seven because we're all human we're not robots we're not going to be 100% on any diet. We're not going to always make the right choices for us. We have our subconscious. Most of us have our subconscious working against us all the time. Right, you know, right. pushing us to take that second martini or maybe pushing to have that fifth cup of coffee or having an extra bag of popcorn at the movies, whatever it is. So we have to just be consciously aware that we have our mind sometimes working against us, our subconscious working against us. 
we're human. And so we're going to falter. And instead of when you falter, like it's all over, I ate two slices of pizza. Now, like the month is ruined. Tomorrow's a new day to start again. Right. And then tomorrow's a new day to start again. And we just try to make more healthy choices than unhealthy choices. And then we're in a state of victory. I like that. In a state of victory. I'm going to write that one down. Thank in a you. state of victory. Um, I want to say thank you so much um, for your time and sharing the Yoga Lean book. Uh, with me with everyone and I will have that link below so if you want to check the book out I mean not if you want to you should check the book out it's <laughs> you should get the book. book there you go and um, it, it definitely is everything yeah. put into one book and thank you so much I really appreciate it before we go Beth um, it is time for what I call show share your shoe because I think a shoe tells a lot about people and if you can show me your latest favorite shoe and why uh, this is my latest favorite shoe. I just wore it to the gym this morning. I, I like the Asics brand a lot. I okay. have them in different colors. And, you know, for either walking around New York City, they're black. For hiking Runyon Canyon, they're black. These are the ones that I like to wear in L.A. and to the gym. They're very nice and light. I like to say that it feels like I, I have a sofa on each foot when I walk. So I like Asics. Awesome. Too. I have a shoe for today. I have a different one every day. And mine, I chose a sandal. It's by Croft and Barrow, I think. And the reason I love this is because you know how great it is to slip on your sandals uh, to go into yoga and then slip them off real quick. But I love these because of the toe, the strap for the big toe. That's my nice. favorite. And they're very comfortable, nice suede. Uh, I want to thank you again for joining us. And you are joining us from New York today because I know you're bi coastal. I'm in Los Angeles right now where I walked to the gym in my t-shirt and I saw a hummingbird smelling a flower and the sun is out and I actually couldn't be happier to be in some nice warm weather. Beautiful. I'm on the east coast and I cannot wear these today. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Everyone check her book out, uh, Yoga Lean, and um, we'll um, talk again soon. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Bye.